What's up, guys? Violet Taylor here, and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now, I hope you're feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. Come on down to the border barn. Anyway, as you guys can see, last night we had the Mixedies Locker Bundle. I'm probably butchering that name, but if you guys didn't know, he is a Twitch streamer. I did put his um, link in my was it YouTube Shorts that I did. But anyway, as you guys can see, last night would have been the um, item shop taking us from Tuesday the 30th of May into the early morning of Wednesday, which is tonight, 31st of May. So let's see what we've got returning tonight. But yeah, moving us on, we had the return of the Goldbound set. We had the Hit Squad set, the Barely Cuddly, the Jailbird, some really cool items in the daily store. But what are we getting tonight in three, two, one, let's go! Very delayed, but you know. Ooh, okay. So as you guys can see, we have the return of the Kyra Bundle with her two styles. We have the fashion style, and then we have the love letter style. Perfect for those of you that just want to be a fashionista and have a Valentine style as well. Moving us, oh sorry, I have covered this in its own, is it, is it not worth it bundle out? So please check that out on the play, in the playlist on the channel. Moving us on to the return of the featured store where we have the man behind everything, the Chaos Agent. Undermine the order from the shadows. Part of the final reckoning set, first introducing chapter two, season one. So as you guys can see, we have the man himself, the man that is literally behind most things in Fortnite. Because if you guys remember, before we had the ghost and shadow agents, his emblem could be seen on the side of certain agents. So he did have his sticky goo hands in there before Midas and um, Midas, uh, yeah, Midas, Ghost and Shadow. Anyway, we've got the default style, not for me rambling, we've got the default style. And then we have the alternate, which is the goopy style. I love this one. It's kind of like having another symbiote in the game. Moving us on to the back bling, we have the ooze chamber. Contain yourself. Really, really cool. Absolutely love this. It looks like the um, pipes are coming out of the back bling. Really, really cool. Again, we've got the Kevin the Cube, like kind of hieroglyphs there. Moving us on to the Chaos Agent Scythe. Harvest Disarray. Again, nice little harvesting tool. I like, to, I like to use the Venom skin. Moving us on to the swing animation. Not bad. Moving us on to the Black Ooze animated wrap. Again, nice little wrap that I like to use with the Venom skin. As you guys can see, I can switch between various different weapon models, so you guys can see. Very cool. Moving us on to the return of the Big Chuggers, or as I like to call him, the Bane skin. Small Chuggerses need not apply. Part of the Slurp Squad set, first introduced in Chapter 2, Season 1. It's very mad, actually, because a lot of people still don't realise that Slurp is hot. Slurp is hot. A lot of people think it's, oh, it's just like a, an energy drink or anything like that. No, Slurp is actually hot. In the Fortnite history, Slurp is actually always hot. Anyway, moving us on to the Slurp series, Juggus Batbling. Slurp juice not included. Again, very, very cool. With the fact that it looks like the tubes are going from the Batbling into the um, skin itself. Moving us on to the Harvesting tool, we have the Double Tap. Twice the Slurp in one powerful swing. Let's see that swing animation. Ooh, I love that nice little boom, nice little keg. Moving us on to the last but not least, we have the Slurp Wrap. Not animated or reactive, but I don't think it needs to be. It suits the skin anyway. Oh, press the wrong button. So as you guys can see, I can cycle through various different weapon models now. Very, very cool. Moving us on to the bottom half, where we have the second half of the featured store. We have the return of the legendary Wukong skin. Long live the king, the monkey king that is. Part of the Wukong set, first introduced in the OG season two. OG season two, <laughs> that was so long ago now. Anyway, really, really cool. Moving on to the back bling, we have the legendary royal flags. Royal flags. Let your royal, sorry, let your royal flag fly. Again, I probably butchered that. Anyway, moving on to the legendary royal dragon. Don't quote me, but I believe this was the first legendary glider in Fortnite history. Again, don't quote me because there's a lot of lot of gliders that have come out since then. But anyway, really, really cool. First introduced in the OG Season 3, Ride the Dragon. Moving us on to the Jingu Bang Harvesting Tool. It is reactive, so if we pretty much um, swing, use, uh, if we pretty much have the swing animation, 
You guys can see you get like some shimmering effects all over the gold parts and then you got like the red ball inside that glows a bit brighter. Fit for a King. First introduced three seasons after the original skin. Moving us on to the return of the Vanishing Point bundle. Really, really cool bundle. We have the Overtaker, the Whiteout skin. Again, we also have Bat Blings with Katanas. I don't know why you wouldn't want that. But anyway, I have already covered this in its own way. Is it was not worth a bundle video? Taking us on to the daily store where we got some really, really cool items. So, moving us on to the return of the Brute Navigator, or as I like to call him, Batman of the Future. Precision and Determination. Part of the Brute Squad set. First introduced in the OG Season X. Really, really cool. Moving us on to the return of the Gaia skin. This is pretty much like a mini bundle. So as you guys can see, we have the Gaia skin. As far as she's concerned, she's the rightful leader of the clan. Part of the Bone Punk set, first introduced in Chapter 2, Season 6. So as you guys can see, we have four style changes. We have the colour style, which is the default. And then we have the alternate, which is the blue, which pretty much, I've always said, makes it look like an avatar. Moving us back onto the default, we can have the ability to have the mask off and the mask on. Personally, I kind of like it on. But anyway, I like it on and off. But anyway, very, very cool. Part of the primal season. Moving us onto the back bling, we have the tusk and tooth. Earned, never given. Part of the bone punk set. So as you guys can see, we have the harvesting tools, which is the cross bite tooth axes. Surprisingly chewy. Let's see the swing animation. Nice. So pretty much as you guys can see, you can unsheathe the harvesting tools from the bat bling, just as long as you have them both equipped. Pardon me. Moving us on to the return of the items in the daily store, we have the lamp harvester tool. The glow is alluring. Part of the Moth Command set, first introduced in the OG Season 6. Let's see that swing animation. Nice. Moving us on to the return... Oh, damn, that was a bit too quick. Moving us on to the return of the Icon Series emote, um, Without You, featuring music by CK. Put no one above you. Really, really good um, Ugandan artist. Uh, sorry, Nigerian artist, not Ugandan. <laughs> Nigerian artist. Anyway, moving us on to the blue camo wrap. Not animated or reactive, but again, very, very cool. Loving the nice little white on there. First introduced in the OG Season 9. As you guys can see, I can switch between various different um, weapon models or cycle through different weapon models. Moving us on to the last one at least, we have Have a Seat. Pull up a chair and relax. First introduced in Chapter 2 Season 1. I used to use this a lot when I used to see people in build battles and then you just bang, text somebody out who ever wins. Anyway, moving us on to the rest of the item shop, we still have the Captain Hypnotius level up quest pack. We still have the Across the Spider-Verse bundle, which I'm literally about to buy. Um, really, really cool bundle. Moving us on to the Fortnite Football Club that is still with us. Another great way to get some iconic or icon series skins. For those of you that didn't get Neymar during... Was it Chapter 2 Season 6? Yeah, for those of you that didn't get Neymar during Chapter 2 Season 6, you guys can grab him now. Really, really cool. Moving us on to the Goldbound set. And then there's the Goldbound gear set. And then last but not least, we have, again, I'm probably going to butcher this, Mixedies or Mi Mixedies um, Locker Bundle from last night. Really, really cool. I am going to finish off this as well, so I'll get the Harvest and Throw and the um, Emote for 300 V-Bucks. But yeah, guys, really, really cool item shop. A bit of a calm item shop for the middle of the week. But it is the middle of the week. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like the video. Also, let me know which is your favourite item from tonight's item shop and which is your favourite bundle from tonight's item shop. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscri subscribe to the channel if you're new and join the team. Let's catch a vibe. Also, if you are new, please don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get notified as soon as I upload. But more importantly, don't forget to stay with that vibe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.